Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Bar-El, and today we're going to be talking about a debate right here. So many people are saying with the Lenovo Legion Go, should you use a docking station? I, I have people asking me, and they ask me also, or should we use a hub? Which one do you recommend? Now, I will say this, the uh, docking station is still on its way to me, so it's taken forever to get here, but it's one of the best, I kid you not. I've tried many docking stations in the past with the, uh, you know, with the Steam Deck, with the ROG Ally, and and there was only one that really stood out. Unfortunately, I never owned one myself because I never had the need for it because I usually just play it on the go. But I actually ordered it and it's been sold out and it, it takes forever to get there. Hopefully, uh, when I called the company up, they said that they're going to start increasing making more to meet the demand so hopefully i'll get it very soon and i will do the review but in the meantime i wanted to give you my thoughts and you know how you could save some money and also get something really really good so anyways let's get right into it <music> Okay, guys just really quick so like i said i'm still waiting on the docking station to arrive i personally don't use a docking station because i like to just take it on the go now which one would i pick one of these things which is a hub okay that has a bunch of connections in it and it's flat or would i choose a docking station i'm going to be truthfully honest with you the you know just like the nintendo switch these things have a stand and they're pretty sturdy it's not like the first nintendo switch which was a pogo the the new nintendo switches obviously have the same kind of fold out as you could see here same kind of exactly the same fold out as um that one uh as the rog ally does except the rog ally is much more you know solid and all of that so i don't really have a need for a docking station if i wanted to dock it it's simply i just put that and call it a day but at the same time if i was a person who was hooking it up to my you know tv and i wanted to see you know i, I wanted you know a bigger screen or whatnot and i wanted to plug it in and uh, you know pu probably put it on a docking station with cooling fans and all kinds of other garbage that you could put on there i still would not use a docking station i'm telling you this even before i'm getting this amazing docking station that i'm going to do a review view for you guys but again to each their own you know what i mean anyways this is you know just a regular you know hub uh with a bunch of connections as you guys could see and i'm gonna tell you guys something you don't need to have all these connections i just wanted to have a card reader in here and a bunch of other things and then i also wanted to have an ethernet connection and you know it's cool when you, if you just have just a usb connection hdmi uh input uh this is for your um uh, headphones that you can actually hear uh stuff and you know you have more options over here and a USB C. so you know you have all those uh beautiful connections that could get you uh, you know a, a good hookup without the need for a docking station it's also flat so because it's flat like I told you I'm gonna modify the case at one point and I'm gonna show you guys you want something flat so you could just throw in your bag and not have to worry about it instead of being forced to have some kind of you know I could even 3d print this this stuff and put this actually inside it and it'll look like a freaking docking station but for what all that extra space we already have to carry a freaking battery I told you guys even though this battery I highly recommend by Lenovo it's still a big battery to carry around with you and you know all of these things that you got to bring with you it's it, it doesn't make it really feel like a portable device at that point and even if you were taking it you know and you wanted to hook it up to a bigger monitor and just have it there so you could just simply put it on the docking station and call it a day and it charges yeah that looks cool and everything if you want that but you know this thing you're going to be saving much more money i mean even though the docking station is actually cheaper than this but usually they're very expensive it's just i got um you know this is more expensive than the docking station because i got other things like card reader and all that other stuff in it but i'm gonna tell you really it doesn't matter i'm not even gonna tell you which company it is because you can get a hub from literally anywhere so long okay as the things you need to have, and I'm going to read them off here, is the first thing you're going to need is an Ethernet gigabit, uh, gigabyte, uh, you know, uh, um, feature. So when you hook it up to the Internet directly, you're getting the best quality uh, coming into you, which right now, uh, you know, I have um, 
was a CR, uh, RCN. So RCN gives you a gigabyte. So I have a gigabyte right there and I could just download stuff straight by instead of using Wi-Fi and I got a clear connection, I could download whatever the hell I want. You do want to have a gigabyte, uh, you know, uh, LAN connection on this baby here, especially if you want to play online and all that stuff and you want to have a connection you could count on. That is like an absolute must. So I'm not telling you to get this. This little hub here cost about $130. There are hubs that cost like 60, 70 bucks. But you want to make sure that because I also seen these uh, these other hubs out there that don't have a gigabyte, uh, you know, uh, connection. If you're already spending 60, 70 dollars, you should get that. That's a definite must another must you need to have is an hdmi 2.0 that's going to give you 4k at 60 hertz which is great on a big screen tv you're hooking it up <coughs> you're gonna have a great connection so that's definitely an hdr10 uh, plus hdcp 2.2 you want you want to make sure that it has these features on your hub i don't care what hub you get if it has these features you're going to definitely you know definitely benefit from that especially when you have to pay so much money otherwise just go with a freaking dock you, uh, you know the dock i speak of i think it costs about 60 dollars, so it's not that expensive and you know that's good but uh, you know to me it's cumbersome so i don't really care another thing is it has a usb 3.2 generation 2 10 gigabytes uh you know uh, 10 gigabytes per second you want to have uh you know the latest the quickest uh and as many features as you possibly want me i just really cuz i'll tell you why the Lenovo Legion Go uses the micro SD card. So to have that here, and I could just take it out, put it in here, uh, you know, put my, you know, whatever stuff that I want on it from like my computer when I download emulators, ROMs, whatever, and I just throw them in there and then just put it into my, into my device and I'm good to go. I like having that option. Again, really, you can just load them back and forth if you're doing 3D printing. Guys, I use my Lenovo Go also as like a mini computer. So I don't really, because that's really what it is, an underpowered gaming computer. So it's pretty freaking awesome what you could do with this thing because it runs Windows 11. I even did editing with it and it ran pretty freaking well. So that's what I'm telling you. It's good to have these options. I like to give it as many options as possible. Uh, but you could probably find something like this, um, you know, cheaper. Uh it, it doesn't matter. You might not want it. You might, you know, uh, not, you know, have a need for it. But this to me uh, is is pretty much it was worth it. And to me, I, personally, I'm going to tell you, I'm not into docks because if I have my machine laying there on a stand, OK, I don't need a dock because I could simply just put a, a cable underneath. I, I kind of get it because I guess they, you know, it. But then again, you could do it with this too. You see, you could hook it up here and you have all your power here. And oh, another major thing that you need on your hub is a 100 watt uh, um, or higher uh, charger. Because you want to charge your unit, even though it could take 75, it could even take a regular phone charger, but it'll take forever to charge it. With a 100 watt, <clears throat> it's doing, uh, you know, it, it's charging faster than normal, and it's actually doing its its job really nicely. So this is really cool to have that option, which uh, this is what this baby here has. It's a 100 watt. So again, guys, if you're looking at a 100 watt adapter, okay, yeah, those things are expensive. I, I did a review for you guys of one that wasn't that expensive. And then you combine it with this baby right here, and you're paying uh, a lot of money. But if you get the hub that's like $60, $70 and has these features, which you could find on Amazon, just look at the reviews, and you'd be really happy. But me personally, I would rather have something small in this kind of form factor than a freaking, uh, you know, an entire freaking dock that you know is going to take up a lot of space. That's just my two cents on that and you know it has all of these cool options over here just like it has on the dock except to carry it on a luggage with you when you're limited on space to you know take it with you everywhere you want to go and just you know it just it, it's to me it's not practical as a new yorker i'm always on the go i like making it as portable as possible as lightweight as possible and something like this could fit in a case that came with it uh, like I told you, I'm going to be doing some heavy modifications on this case that I picked up from a YouTuber. And, um, you know, but you could actually fit this in with no issue. So 
it's just you know once you make the incision and whatever so i picked it up from a youtuber but i'm gonna make it more fine-tuned much nicer looking better looking than and you'll see how i will do it i just uh i'm just waiting right now just waiting to get those updates coming in and seeing where the hell uh we are with this i'm still working on some emulations and some all kinds of cool stuff from nintendo switch to uh, playstation 3 on this damn thing this thing works this thing is a beast y'all so i'm telling you really i just like to keep it as minimum as possible now if you guys like docking stations you guys you know it is coming i'm doing a review for literally the best docking station out there and i'm i'm you know i don't say that normally and i'm telling you i got i give you guys always the truth so what i'm telling you here is absolutely accurate i'm telling you the second this baby comes out i will do a review it is the best docking station that i used for my steam deck i used for the rog ally when i had it uh, before i sold them and uh, my friend now is actually using it on his oled um um uh um god i can't believe it. it's coming out of my head uh just send it to steam deck so <clears throat> he's having a good time with it he loves it and i said you know what i'm gonna get that finally i had it before i'm gonna get it again even though i sold it all and I didn't know there was a big waiting list for it because apparently a lot of people bought it out for their Steam Decks. And this thing works really nice on the ROG Ally. And you guys would really love it when I when I show you guys what it does. But I'm still telling you off the bat, i rather go with a hub because it's easier to take with you everywhere. And it's just cool. Now, if I just had a, a hub that I just leave it on there and just you know let it charge instead of having it charge through looking for a wire or a cable and just putting it there then yeah for that convenience I would get a docking station would I pay 60 bucks for it hell to the no but I got it anyway because I want to do a review for you guys so I'm gonna do it but some of you guys love it some of you guys actually really dig it you guys really do love um, the uh, the docking station you guys asked me which one I recommend on my Instagram you guys reached out to me and I said I was gonna get it and you guys some of you guys said where is it so I'm telling you it's still coming on its way here uh, the company made more apparently they were short they did, they had less than you know that than uh than they can meet the demand so now they're making more or something like that so uh it was great for the steam deck great for the rog ally and i'm telling you when i went to my friend's house put that baby on there it just looked like it was made for the lenovo legion go so definitely stay tuned for that anyways let me know what you guys think do you agree with me do you disagree with me what do you what would you prefer the docking station or a hub me personally hub all the way no doubt about it like i told you definitely curious what you guys think Thank you guys so much for offering me Patreon service services, but as you always see, I don't have a Patreon. I don't do this. I work three jobs. I don't do this for money. I, I do. I have three jobs to, that uh, but pretty much support this, and the reason I opened this channel in the first place is to give people the truth, nothing but the truth, so they don't get ripped off by paid-for reviewers, and you guys are already doing more than enough by being the jury. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let's help the community at large make better informed decisions from real people like you and I and that that was that's my mission and now you guys are part of that mission we're all one big family one love so anyways let me know what you guys think as always like subscribe hit that bell button you know how we roll over here that helps the algorithm a lot helps people sift through less garbage to get to the truth and just word of mouth a little bit over a year and we're on our you know on our mission here to 10,000 before I was there just to be there so <clears throat> not not bad, not too shabby, right? So share it with everybody you know. Make the family grow. Comment down below. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come. Definitely want you guys in it, and I want to I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.